Anglo-Americans, Wikipedia article audio. 215.7 million and Anglo-Americans are people who are inhabitants of Anglo-America and are referred to as English-Americans or English-Canadians. It typically refers to an English-speaking American in distinction to Spanish speakers in the southwestern states and in Mexico, German speakers in North Dakota, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, French speakers in Canada, New England, and Louisiana and traditionally Russian and Yiddish-speaking American Jews in New York. This usage originated in the discussion of the history of English-speaking people of the United States and the Spanish-speaking people residing in the western United States during the Mexican-American War. Usage Culture While the term is primarily used to refer to people of English ancestry, it can also be used to denote all people of British or Northern European ancestry or all English-speaking people and their descendants in the New World, regardless of their prior racial or ethnic background, much like Hispanic refers to people of any race. Therefore, a person, for example, of Chinese descent who adopts the American or Canadian culture would have English-speaking Anglo-American, Anglic, Anglophone, Anglo, or Anglophonic children. Thus, Anglo-American, Anglic-American, Anglophone-American, Anglo, or Anglophonic-American can refer to all those whose families who, regardless of race or ethnicity, have become mainstream English-speaking people in the United States, English Canada, English-speaking areas of the Caribbean, Belize, and Guyana, including those of African descent. The term implies a relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom, or the two countries' shared language, English, and slash or cultural heritage. In this context the term may refer to an English-American, a person from the United States whose ancestry originates wholly or partly in England, a person from the United States who speaks English as their first language. The term is also used, less frequently, to denote a connection between English people and the Western Hemisphere as a whole. In this context the term can mean a person from the Americas whose ancestry originates wholly or partly in England, or a person from the Americas who is a white American and speaks English as their first language, a person from the Americas who speaks English as their first language, or person from Anglo-America. The adjective Anglo-American is used in the following ways. To Russia is a transcontinental country in Eastern Europe and Northern Asia. The vast majority of its population lives in European Russia, therefore Russia as a whole is included as a European country here. Adjective 3. Yugoslav Americans are the American people from the former Yugoslavia. 4. Turkey is a transcontinental country in the Middle East and Southeast Europe. Has a small part of its territory in Southeast Europe called Turkish Thrace. 5. Azerbaijan and Georgia are transcontinental countries. They have a small part of their territories in the European part of the Caucasus. 6. Kazakhstan is technically a bicontinental country having a small portion in European hands. To denote the cultural sphere shared by the United Kingdom, the United States and English Canada. For example, Anglo-American culture is different from French culture. Political leaders including Winston Churchill, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan have used the term to discuss the special relationship between Britain and America to describe relations between Britain and America. For example, Anglo-American relations became more relaxed after the War of 1812.